Hello all, in this video I'm going to demonstrate um, multiple controllers using navigation control. For that I have demonstrated an app that calculates the discount and prints the price after discount in the next view. Um, if you look onto the screen, so I'm entering $100 and a discount rate of 20% calculate discount. So on the next view, I would be able to see entered amount is 100 enter discount rate is 20 and price after discount is $80 here okay so what I'm going to demonstrate in this video is I will show you how you would be designing the UI completely and I will explain you the code which I have already implemented and I will be providing you the code as well okay for that go ahead and create a project let me close this Let's go ahead and create a project called Discount App with Multiple Controllers. Create it on your desktop. And then let's do the UI part. Let's go to main.storyboard and drag and drop our labels. And in that, I'm going to do enter amount. Same way enter discount rate and I will be having two text boxes here right so let's drag and drop the text field two text fields and since I'm entering the numbers I would be able to put that as a um, right justified the property with the right justification and I have a button called calculate discount right so calc discount okay so my first view is done so I need to put another view so in order to have a navigation between views you need to go to the editor embed in and then click on navigation controller so that it gives you a navigation controller that way you would be able to connect from one view to another view okay so for that what we need to do is I need to go to my library and get another view controller just drag and drop this is another uh, view that you would be seeing exactly the same okay and when this view should show up as soon as you click on the calculate discount that view should be able to display for you right so hold the control key and then drag and drop to this particular view and now you would be able to show different uh, um, um, ways that you would be able to see that whether it would be a pop-up or just show it on your screen on your view so I'm using uh, show here okay so what was created a route or a transition here we call it as a segue okay so a segue has been created so it's a route from this view to another view when we click the calculate discount so this is called segue and we have to name this so select this one and under the show attributes inspector you have to provide 
an identifier okay so I'm going to use it as result result segue okay so segue spelling is s-e-g-u-e right and then what we need to do is I would be able to um, display um, the results here okay for that I'm dragging and dropping three labels basically the entered amount similarly you will have entered discount rate and then price after discount Oh, entered amount price after discount enter discount rate okay so I would recommend you to keep a little bit bigger here so that you could uh, um, st do string interpolation to print the final results okay now what we need to do is we have to name this view okay for that I have to create one more since we already here view controller so this this view controller is for this one and for this one um, um, for the whatever we dragged and dropped just now for that we have to create one for that select the folder here and then right click new file and use Coca touch class and make sure this is UI view controller here and language is Swift. UI view controller. And if I put it here, that would be a, a result view controller. And then click next. Go ahead and create one. Okay, so a, another result view controller is there. Here we already have a view controller. And if you want to rename that as a, um, a view controller, you could always rename by selecting right clicking rename and you could rename it as home view controller just want to make sure one is home view the other one is result view controller so home view controller result view controller now go to your main dot storyboard um, we we have the first screen which is home view controller and this should be our result view controller for that look at here select this position and then under the identifier identity inspector window make sure you write your class name which is result view controller so since I already have created it is automatically popping up for me and then once you hit enter it will automatically inherit from module target so it has to be checked so now we are done with our UI part okay let me run this one so that we'll see um, we would be able to get the right um, views or not. Here if you notice you would be able to see that navigation controller screen one is for view controller other one is for review result view controller and all that stuff. Okay something has been simulated. Let's see that. Okay so enter amount so I'm entering 100 so look at that I have right justified I'm entering 20 and then click calculate discount I got entered amount enter discount rate and price after discount I mean since I didn't write any logic in the my code I didn't get any result but uh, but the navigation is working right so when I click uh, calculate discount I would be able to navigate to a next view okay so that's what I want to demonstrate for you and now I will explain the code what all you would be doing okay 
So as I already told you that I have already implemented um, the code so that you could be able to see that. So I'm closing this. I'm opening whatever I have already implemented so that you could continue um, the coding part using the UI. Okay, in the home view controller, basically, you have to drag and drop, um, uh, you have to create an outlet for your amount field, you have to create an outlet for your discount rate field, and then I have a, um, a price after discount uh, uh, variable there, okay? So, um, in this, once you um, do the, you have to create an action item, action for the button right so which is calc discount pressed so you would be dragging and dropping all that stuff so um, you would be reading it from the amount outlet and you would be reading the value from the discount outlet discount rate outlet and you would be calculating price after discount is equal to amount minus amount times discount rate by 10 okay so this I have already explained you in the class and uh, and then, since this is a transition um, from one view to another view, we have to write a prepare method, right? So for that, what we need to do is, in our result Swift controller, we have to drag and drop those three um, labels, and then we created three, um, uh, three variables, which is nothing but amount, disc rate, and price after discount. So basically, whatever we are getting from the... Uh, home controller we have to pass that to the result view controller how we have to pass through the prepare method and using these variables okay so i will explain you the prepare method now in the home view controller so prepare method takes a segue and a sender itself so you have to create a transition variable which is seg dot segue dot identifier segue dot identifier i have already given the result segue right so if the transition is equal to result segue, you have to make sure you have to make sure that result view controller is our destination. So in our destination of result view controller, we have already three variables, and using these three variables, we have to pass the values here. Destination dot amount is nothing but the amount outlet dot text. So which is nothing but entered amount, and then destination dot discount rate is nothing but the discount rate outlet so which is nothing but the entered discount rate and destination dot price after discount is equal to price after discount amount which is we have calculated here since this is local in this particular method uh, because of the scope I have declared it as a global of type double and uh, since I'm using that as a string variables in my result view I have typecasted it to string right so in the result view controller, we have assigned uh, values to these variables. And in the view did load method, basically what we have to write is we have to use the existing text plus the amount what we got it from the prepare method. Okay, similarly like this. So if you do that, once you run, you would be able to get the values to that uh, onto the result view screen. Okay. So since you have already listened to the class, it would be easy for you to look into the UI part from this video and uh, uh, work on your logic. I'll provide you the code as well as the um, uh, UI part in the video. So let's say 120 calculate discount, 120 and 80 has been generated here, okay? So um, I haven't written the code in this uh, uh, video, but the code is already implemented in the classroom. Okay. Thank you for watching.